you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is the final day before Series 1. So I want to kick it off, or should I say end it off with a banger. Last top 10 player video, or top players in Madden that you need right now. Prior to Series 1, this will be the finals list commencing Series 1, and then I'll probably do one when all the new Series 2 players come out, like the new power-up cards, new promo cards, eventually when Mud Heroes drops. And for all you guys asking, Mud Heroes does not drop tomorrow, as far as my knowledge goes. They just drop kickoff. I'd imagine it'll probably drop within, like, within the next two or three weeks. I don't think it'll be now. It'll probably be, like, either the first week of October or the last week of, probably the last week of September, most likely, which is, like, two weeks from now. Because if it was to drop in October, that would probably coexist with the October promo which is the Halloween promo but I do not think we'll go that close it'll either be the last week of September and pushing it to the first week of October it all depends because the kickoff promo was pushed back a week so maybe that they're going to be closer to the Mud Heroes promo for that reason guys but so this is going to be the last list before series one ends of the top players and then we'll go on to series two starting tomorrow and go all over all the new stuff that we have to go over now guys before we get into this video if you're into the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button boys we're grinding, we're past 8k, the road to 9k is next, and so on and so forth. If you haven't already, go like a vi go like the video, let's drop 200 likes in this video, that'd be greatly appreciated boys, all my loyal supporters, and also turn on that noti bell. Comment down below anyone you think that should be on this list that I did miss, I do like the feedback, you guys do know that, it definitely helps me out in the future with making lists like this, and it gives me more awareness for my own team of cards that I should be picking up. Now starting on the auction block, going over to the first card, is going to be a guy that has not left this list all year yet. He'll probably he's at number 10, so he'll probably start getting phased out pretty soon. That is Stefan Gilmore. Mutt Superstar Edition card. This card right here, although the speed is starting to be a little lackluster behind other cards, his coverage stats make up for it. He's got 88 Excel, which definitely helps with catching up, running the ball back, a lot of other things. He's got He's got that catch-up speed. His play rack's an 89, his zone uh, his zone's an 83, his man is a 92, and his press is an 88, and his agility is an 88. Now, if you guys don't know, agility and acceleration are really big on corners, in my opinion, especially for after the um, after interceptions and just lateral movement. But what really matters about this card is that 89 play rack, 88 press, and 92 man coverage. If you chem this guy up with maxed out lockdown, and you put either John Madden past D or anything on him, this card becomes a threshold man coverage guy, a threshold press, and a threshold play rack. If you don't know, that coupled with being 6'1 is probably the best combination of things you want in a cornerback right now, considering how the meta plays right now with man coverage. The man coverage allows him to be locked, the press allows him to not let people get past him or get off of him, and the play rack allows him to make good plays in the ball as a whole, or even in the run game. So I like him, I think he's an awesome card at number 10. He'll probably be phased out soon by the next new wave of corners. Next one actually is another new corner that just came out. If you guys don't know, I usually use a lot of defensive players in this list because right now offense is like good and all, but the defense players, they, I don't know. Something about these defensive players really just get me stats wise. Now 90 overall Darius that just dropped in the game. I wish his man coverage was a little bit higher and his press, but that speed, you really can't, you really just can't justify going against the guy with that speed because right now cornerbacks are really high speed like that typically are really low overalls that just have really good speed and bad coverage. So they're obviously good options because they're fast. But this guy, Darius Slay, is not going to be outran by anybody. Literally, maybe Marquise Brown, but as Marquise Brown's break the press, uh, beat the press, and all his other stats are so bad, it probably won't even matter. But this guy, just look at his speed. That's all I got to say. He's six feet tall, 88 agility, 88 excel, 89 speed, 89 play rec, 91 zone. He's an awesome zone corner. And although the meta is man, a lot of people still run zone. I still run zone. Now. I wish that press and man were more like 87s, because then if you chemmed him up, this card would be the best card in the game by far when it comes to the secondary. Because if he could, if his press was an 87 and his man was an 87, if you did zone, if you did power up this Darius Slay and put zone coverage on him, or you know, the lockdown chem, and then Madden Pasty, he'd have threshold man, threshold zone, threshold press, threshold play rec. So that's the only reason he's at 9. He'd be a little bit higher if he had other stats that weren't exactly 85s, because that will not be able to be chemmed up to threshold. But his stats are still amazing. And again, another team of the week card makes the list. Julio Jones. This card right here. From what I've seen from gameplays, looks insane. I haven't picked him up because I wouldn't be able to use him on my team with the amount of wide receivers I have. But he's got 87 speed, so he's one of the faster wide receivers in the game. 92 jumping, which is huge because he's 6'3 with 92 jumping, so he's like uber athletic. 86 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch. 
90 short route running 89 medium route running and 85 deep route running i don't really care about deep route running because i really don't throw the ball deep that much I'm not the biggest fan of it and not like you run crazy routes deep anyways it's either a straight line or a post it's really all you could you pretty much run deep now the medium route running short is really important to me for quick cuts and quick reads so he does have threshold route running when you power him up work him up he will have thr threshold catch and traffic threshold threshold spec catch and his catching will be the only thing that doesn't make it unless you chem him up properly with the john madden and you power him up but this card six foot three super athletic i'm a big fan jump ball receiver while being a he could be a slot a jump ball he could be he could play any receiver position on the field which is really important now willie brown another cornerback i don't know these cornerback drops have just been fire i really do like this willie brown i had him on my team for quite a while i recently just sold him because i anticipate the mark's gonna crash soon but he's got 80 oh why am i doing it like that there we go he's got 87 speed 85 excel 85 agility 85 jumping 88 play rec 90 man 89 zone 88 press now the reason this corner is better than in my opinion slay and gilmore is because he's faster than gilmore he's not as fast as slay but if you look at the underlying stats right he's six foot one with better jumping than the other two he's got 88 play rec 90 man 89 zone 88 press so if you know anything about putting if you put lockdown on him or you power him up or you put madden past he will have a threshold press press you have threshold press threshold zone threshold man and threshold play rec so he's gonna make great plays on the ball and in the run game he's gonna be able to lock down man lock down zone and be a physical corner because typically when you have a guy that's like really good at some things he won't be physical like Deion sanders let's say but guys this willie brown's a beast don't there's no knocks against that willie brown the only knock against him is that he is a legend card so he probably won't get an upgrade for quite a bit so he won't be like a long-term option for the time being next on the list is alan page of course when i put the p it doesn't show up how about now I'm gonna show up now okay so is it oh oh that's why okay is that he spells alan like that so alan page 320k 90 over defensive tackle guys it's not about the cards just stat it's about his speed right his pass rushing stats aren't exactly the greatest but for a defensive tackle typically what you want is run stuffing and and the speed's just the bonus in my opinion so the 87 play rec the 88 finesse move is huge and the 85 block shedding if you power him up and chem him up you have threshold finesse move which makes him an awesome pass rusher threshold play rec which is great for the run game and he's going to be about a 79 speed powered up so this card as a whole is going to almost have he almost has 80 speed which for a lot of cards and against a lot of teams will be up to par with most players per se from a defensive tackle position and the thing about defensive tackles is when they do get passed on a scrimmage they typically suck because they're too slow he's not slow he can chase down a quarterback as long as they don't have escape artists i really do love that card just because he's so well-rounded at defensive tackle typically defensive tackles are one or the other if they're athletic they don't have other good stats or if they're a good pass rusher then they're really slow now next on the list is brian dawkins and this brian dawkins has an 87 speed 85 excel 84 tackle 89 player play rec 88 pursuit 89 zone 91 hit power so he has threshold uh, hit power chemmed up or powered up either or he'll have threshold zone he'll have threshold play rec and potentially threshold pursuit while being super fast really tall and could hit like a truck so that's why i like him now guys remember if you can't afford this card you can always head on over and go power him up and again the only difference in stats will be the threshold zone and threshold hit power other than that this card is a beast and that is why i have him over this card because there's a million coins you save a lot more by just powering him up next on the list is a guy that i think a lot of people probably sleep on to be honest he's really good if you i know he's not Howie Long isn't a flashy name. He isn't. But he's six foot five. He's huge. Not that that really matters at the end position, considering it's not like the year of the QB spy again. But 79 speed at right end. If you compare him to Aaron Donald, right? He blows away Aaron Donald once it once it works. Okay, it's not gonna work. Let's go back to compare again. And he blows away Aaron Donald by far. And Aaron Donald, in my opinion, is one of the best right ends in the game. I, like, you know, like it's not, it's not like I have to tell you guys that. So he's well well faster in my opinion like well above him with plus four speed at end which is pretty good he's at 85 excel which is great his strength's almost tied and when you do power him up or chem him up he will have threshold strength now he's 86 tackle much better 90 play rec is threshold stock 90 block shed threshold 90 power move threshold and 86 finesse move now stock aaron donald wouldn't hit thresholds but because he's powered up and if you put chems on him aaron donald will get the finesse threshold possibly the plug block shit and play rec but stock how we long without any chems or power-ups has three thresholds you can get him to strength play rec block shed and power move and he's faster i think Howie long's a beast he can he can play the run he can pass rush and he can make tackles and hit people i just think he's the all-around best right end in the game right now when it comes to not compared to like limited times i don't count limited times in these because limited times are unrealistic you know people don't always agree with me on that but 
95.9% of the community can't even afford these limited times. So why, why talk about them since I'm making this for the community, not so much just the top percents. And the top percents aren't gonna take my advice anyways because they have so many coins they can do what they want. Now, this Patrick Willis right here again, I'm not recommending him. I'm recommending this one right here. This Patrick Willis is too expensive, but this Willis, if you compare the stats, is one less speed, one less excel, one less strength, three less tackle, two less play rec, two less block shed, five less hip, uh, hip power, and one less zone. So besides the hip power threshold that he gets, everything else is going to be about the same because they're all going to be within the 80s. I really think this card is awesome. Six foot one with 85 speed, 85 excel, awesome user card, can play the run. He's pretty much like a He's like a baby Ray Lewis right now when you get the power version. I really love him. Now, next in this list is a guy, again, very expensive, but he is coming down in price. But I think he's a beast. I really do. And that's Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens for 700k. He's got 89 speed, 90 jumping, 88 catch, 80, 90 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch, 86 short route running, 84 medium route running, 84 deep route running. So this card's pretty comparable to Julio, but he does have better speed. So I see this as like Julio, it's like Julio 1A, 1B. They're pretty similar. The only difference that puts Terrell Owens over the top is the is the speed and the jumping. I mean, although Julio does have a better jump, the speed on Terrell Owens is pretty awesome, especially in the state of the game. But the only thing that Julio has better is the route running. But again, I don't know. I think that speed might make the difference. And if you power, if you power him up, you'll have threshold speed. I don't know how that really matters for speed though. You'll have threshold jumping, threshold catching, threshold catching traffic, and threshold spec catching i think he's an awesome card i really want to try him out but he's just too expensive right now i can't justify a wide receiver at that price but again he's still one of the best cards so i can't i'm not factoring price into this because again it's the top 10 players you need now lamar jackson let's see what his buy now price is oh crap i forgot there's a lot of lamars lamar jackson at 406 not a bad price i got mine for 360 but again he's going up in price as people probably realize that he's one of the best quarterbacks i'm not going to compare him to Vic. i'm just going to compare him straight out only i gotta say 90 speed that's all i really got to say and he has throwing stats, in my opinion, where they matter. Throw on the run, throw under pressure, 90, 90 speed. Throw under pressure is huge. If you guys don't know anything about this year, no matter how accurate your quarterback is, if a guy bull rushes your your, your uh, offensive lineman and gets close to your quarterback, or they break off the, uh, the one of the tackles on the outside, and right when they get around the edge, even if they're not going to sack you, the second they put pressure on that line, your quarterback, like... He just goes like he loses a step. I don't know what happens to them. I've watched Pat Mahomes wide open in the pocket, have a throw right over the middle, easy to go. The set and, and the guy's getting pass rush, but he's not gonna sack me. But I've thrown the ball and they air mail it out of bounds. So having 90 threshold throw under pressure, in my opinion, is huge. That'll definitely stop a lot of air and passes. Although that does balance out with his more than below average accuracy. But again, 80s isn't really that bad. Considering how thresholds work, he has all 80s, and if you chem him up properly. He's going to have like decently mid 80 throw stats, which isn't horrible. And then if you also come up, you can get throw on the run on, at 90 threshold. His throw power, if you put go deep on him all the way, can get him to like an 87, 88. And I also have John Madden passing. So if you have John Madden passing with all this, plus the 90 speed, you toss a skate artist on this car, it's going to be overpowered. I love this Lamar Jackson. He makes the same throws to me that Pat Mahomes made. Doesn't make too much of a difference to me. But his speed is just game breaking. 90 speed. That's faster than Marcus Allen. That's faster than almost every running back in the game besides Bo Jackson and Gale Sayers. But out of, out of the quarterback position, they get so many holes because when you're outside the pocket and everyone's downfield, you just you could just scramble for 30 yards. It's just so simple. I think Lamar Jackson's overpowered. And for the price, you just can't you can't beat the price of 400 k Considering people were paying 550k to for and had to power up Steve Young. You don't have to power up Lamar Jackson to get his tier three abilities, which I think is awesome. Steve Young, after you powered him up and everything, used to cost like 700 k People thought that was good for 81 speed. Lamar Jackson at 90 speed. And guys, the last guy on this list that I did not include because I didn't think I even had to. He's in a class of his own. He doesn't even make the list. He is the list. Lawrence Taylor, the greatest giant of all time. I didn't even got to include him because Lawrence Taylor is in a class of his own. The best part about him is that he is year long. I put him in my lineup when I got him. He will sit there until the day this game dies. I'm not even joking. This card is insane. I don't really got to talk about him too much. You guys already know. Look at his power up stats. 85 speed, 88 excel, 80 strict strength, 86 tackle, 85 play rec, 86 block shed, 90 power move, and 88 finesse move. This card is just a monster. And I like him because he's going to be my team all year. He's not moving from the list. He's already, he has, I retired his jersey in the list. I didn't even think I had to mention him. I was including a lot of newer cards too. But guys, if you guys want any beast card, Lawrence Taylor is definitely the one you want to get guys. But that's about it. That is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did get some good content out of this. I hope this does help you guys. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to go hit that thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for all the Series 2 news that will be coming out starting tomorrow. Turn on the noti bell to stay up to date. 
And guys, comment down below anyone you think I didn't include in this list that I should have. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.